largest World's Fair ever, Expo 67, the international twin island wonderland is ready for its gala opening ceremonies. Host Canada is among 62 nations who have built 100 pavilions on the 1,000 acre site of entertainment and education. The lighting of a permanent torch is part of Inauguration Day ceremonies. The multi-million dollar fair is spread over two man-made islands in the St. Lawrence River. Premier Lester Pearson, in pre-opening formalities, touches off the torch, symbolic of the spirit of Expo. The fair marks the 100th anniversary of Canada. It will run for six months. Canadian Air Force jets roar overhead, saluting the opening, while 7,000 guests watch from the ground. It's expected that some 35 million people will come to the exposition. Spectacular fountains, curving, sweeping towers and minarets, majestic waterfalls combine in a feast for the eye. For sightseers, there are plenty of sights to see. The universal exhibits symbolize more than just beautiful buildings. They constitute the most modern advances in art, science, and culture. The amusement area has everything to help the visitor relax, have fun, and enjoy himself. Traditional rewards of any fair. The U.S. Pavilion has a built-in mini rail train, a meeting place of peoples, promoting mutual respect and understanding. Expo.